All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is RB Shard here in a conversation with 102 Roach, otherwise known as Roach 100 on Xbox Live, and I'm here to explain the Miranda and Briar Patch instance, as you've all been asking for. Fucking hate you. <laughs> I know you do, but that's why it's funny. Um, right, we'll, we'll start off with the Briar Patch incident, as it's the one you guys have all been mentioning so much. Um, the Briar Patch incident uh, involves, actually both these incidents involve a game known as Star Trek Bridge Commander. Now, the backstory behind this is the reason this agitates Roach so much is I've been hanging this over his head for a good few years now. And Three. Yeah, and it's also the fact that he's never been able to beat me in a video game ever in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. You, that's not... Pocket oh. Tanks, Bridge Commander, every other game we've ever played. Uh, that's debatable. D debatable my whole. You suck. Admit it. Anyway. So the Briar Patch incident is to do with a specific map on Star Trek Bridge Commander, funnily enough, called Briar Patch. Now, the Briar Patch, if you don't know, if you're not a track head, is basically a very big nebula. So much so that you, basically when you fly into it, your sensors don't work and you can't see much from about like maybe 200 meters in front of your ship. And, yes, it's a nice little tactical spot where you can, you know, evade pursuers, that sort of thing. Uh, Roach, of course, was pursuing me. I was flying in a very small ship. He was flying in a very large ship, overcompensating for something. Fuck you. <laughs> and I performed what is commonly known as a loop-the-loop, -loop, or, you know, do a barrel roll, if you're really that into it. And I got <laughs> behind him, only to hear what I would call a girly scream and then a pop-up came up on my screen saying Roach has died now I'm gonna pass this over to Roach he can explain what happened to him and how he died may I point out that I have also searched the briar patch and never once come across one of these massive objects ever but explain Roach go tell, tell the viewers as I was chasing Shard through the briar patch, my sensors were crippled, and my targeting sensors were telling me multiple objects everywhere. It was basically fucking me up. I was going in a straight line, because I assumed Shard was also going in a straight line, and um, uh, after a certain amount of time, a large object appeared, which I assumed, because it, it's brown on the sensors before I saw it, I assumed it was another sensor shadow. But it came up, and about, yeah, about 200 meters maybe, too close for me to correct my course at that point in time, a large asteroid appeared. And, unfortunately, my ship was destroyed in the ensuing collision. He hit an asteroid. Now, I have never found an asteroid inside the Briar Patch, not once in my entire career of playing that game. Not one. Not, and, yeah. I'm, it still confuses me to this day how you managed to find one. I, like, is your crew fucking drunk? I mean, what was that it about? Came, it, it came out of nowhere. Man. You've, you've said out. that before. It came out of nowhere. It's a giant effing asteroid. What appeared, you crashed into it. I went back in there and I couldn't fucking find it. Like, it just suddenly went poof and vanished. Like, it suddenly pooped out an asteroid and then decided, oops, need to pull it back in just came out of nowhere. I can't, I, I, I can't say anything other than it came out of nowhere. Yes. And most of you will already know what Roach's scream sounds like. Sounds like Beaker being fisted. So, we'll move on. That's the Briar Patch incident. That's why he's so embarrassed, because he flew a starship into an asteroid trying to find me. Not the first time that's happened, or the last. Nothing to be boasting about. Anyway, yeah. move, moving on to the Miranda instant. Now, this is the one that Roach hates most, I'm pretty sure, because he was so sure that he was going to be safe. Now, Roach, in this instance, was flying a large ship. Again, overcompensating. I, I, what is and that? It was a Miranda. It was a Miranda. It was bigger than when I was flying. Like, it was a Miranda. You've, you've got a thing for it, right? A Miranda class starship, some of the, used in Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. 
He was flying one of those, and I was flying a Miranda escape pod. I was flying a, like, a three-man ship. Tony, by the way, I codenamed it the Space Winnebago. Because it looks like a Space Winnebago. And I was flying around. This thing has one weapon on it, which is, like, a tiny little phaser at the front. And you could, you know, shoot and probably piss him off. I was like a mosquito, pretty much. And what was what was your phrase to me? Oh, you can't destroy me with an escape pod. Yeah, you can't destroy me with an escape pod was the phrase. And what happened? I refuse to say. Cough it up. You didn't destroy me with an escape pod. You didn't, though. No, no, no. No, I didn't destroy you. What did I do? You crippled. Yep. I crippled every system apart from two. You had one engine functioning and you were spinning in circles. This, by the way, with an escape pod, I crashed my escape pod into his bridge. I flew full force into his bridge and he was certain he'd be fine because his shields were up. This is a man who is a Trekkie, by the way, severely devoted to his whole techno babble crap. He was assuming that he couldn't get hurt. I proved it wrong, I broke the game, I divided by zero and whooped him. It's not possible. It is! It happened! Yeah! If I knew it was going to be so epic, I would have fucking filmed it! I screwed your ship with an escape pod. Shouldn't have happened. Space Winnebago for the win. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny. Especially at that point where you're spinning in circles screaming at me, how is that possible? How is that possible? Damn you, Shard, I hate you. That sort of thing. It just made me giggle more. I couldn't help it. My crew may have sacrificed three lives, but you got fucked. I... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that the, the fans may have expected something a bit more, you know, oomph with these instants, but this is something I've been torturing this man about for about three years now, and it's quite funny. It's one of those gaming incidents that I never managed to catch on film. However, there is other incidents that I will continue to torture him about, Can, you know, like Lebla Tima. That was, that was funny. No! <laughs> Shut up! What? It was no. funny! You got so pissed! That you couldn't even speak English properly. No. <laughs> I kicked your ass in pocket times. <laughs> you started squealing. It was awesome. No. No. Yeah, you know I'm never gonna let these drop. Just fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> anyway folks that's the explanation of the two incidents in question um, I hope they're <laughs> you find them somewhat amusing as I did um, you never know maybe maybe one day I'll be able to recreate it but I don't have bridge it's commander it's not possible you can't it's not possible I don't have bridge commander installed nor do I have the Kobayashi Maru mod installed so We'll see. Well, like maybe in the future, when when Roach is finally dug out of his cave of denial. Never happened. <laughs> uh, so yeah, peace out. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep your eyes open for more videos from me. Bye.